Hey, how you guys doing out there? Hey folks, I'd like to just start showing some different things to you guys as well. I'd like to try to change things up if I could for you. This one here is one of the nicest ones I've ever gotten in circulation. This note right here is what it's all about. Had this been a star, this would have been a, you know, like a unique piece. Very rare and expensive. So this piece I got in circulation a few years ago. And I actually brought it to a local dealer. And as soon as I showed him this, he offered me $500 on the spot. I kind of thought it was really cool and unique. I've never gotten anything like this. I've been, you know, collecting, buying, and selling for many, many years. So I decided to keep this beauty right here and just display it. I just took it out of the protective case. I don't like to really even handle these at all. I like to just show you guys some different beauties that I run into non-stop in circulation. This one right here is a, a very nice, you can see it's a low serial star note. Very, very nice, very rare to find in circulation. They're pretty cool. I mean, you know, you do find these, you know, had this had the 84 not been there and this was seven zeros and the star eight, oh my God, folks, it would have been like, you know, three, four grand. But I hunt these down all the time, non-stop. I know that these beauties at any moment. I pay cash, folks, for everything that I, you know, try to buy, of course. If we have it, you know, sometimes the cash, you know, does run out. But I do anywhere I go. If I get a cup of coffee, I don't care. Folks, you guys are going to laugh. I got Chinese food a couple of weeks ago. I gave them a $20 bill. You know, the order, you know, I got like six bucks in change. Boom, there you go. I got one of the rare 2000B13, you know, the one that they had, to, you know, duplicate error serial. Imagine that. Just, that's it. Just like that. If you guys don't pay cash and you don't get cash back, don't expect to find these beauties. So if you pay with debit and all, you know, all those different pay apps and all that, you're not going to find these treasures. This one here is another very low beauty right here. Very, very nice right here. Another beauty. I love the the new, you know, $5 bills. They're so attractive. I think the colors was nice. Nothing like the smaller heads, though, folks. You know, let me know what you think. I think the smaller head notes, the older notes, are not, you know, no comparison to those. I think those are beauties. But this one here, folks, is really nice. This is what they call a book and note. If you look at the first two and the last two, they match, especially the inside matching. This is what they call a book and note. Like I said, I don't make these names up, folks, so you'll know they've already been made up way before I came along. So just so you guys know, I don't make them up. This is a beauty right here. This is what they call a radar note. If you look at the... You know, the uh, if you look at the inner and the outer, if you look at the 2734 and the 2734 from the right in, it matches. So th these radar notes right here, folks, are very highly, you know, very highly collected, very highly sought after. Very, very nice. These, everything I pretty much have, everything is uh, found in circulation. My, my, you know, my, I guess my passion or hobby, folks, is to really obtain these through hunting them down in circulation. It's like treasure hunting. You know, I know that there's a lot of people that just, you know, buy and sell off the computer. You know, they buy and sell notes, they buy and sell the coins, they buy and sell collectibles, they buy and sell antiques, they buy and sell non-stop paintings, it goes on and on. That's the different thing that they like to do. Me, anything that I buy and sell is through circulation, antique shows, yard sales, coin shows, you know, on and on and on. This right here is another beauty, a repeater. I just want to show you guys the different notes 
you know, maybe real, it must be easier with one so I don't split them up anymore. I don't know. I'm just trying to do something different for you guys out there. You see this right here, the 86863366. This is a repeater. This is nice, folks. You know, you got to remember, right? Everything that I have is I have, I paid face value. This one here, you guys really can't see it, but this is dark green. Excuse me. This is, you know, the dark green serial number, but this one here is black. Believe it or not. This one here is a very rare one, so this is an off print. You guys can pretty much see, you know, this is a beauty, folks. You know, I love to display these around. I change up my displays. I have a huge passion. And like I said, you know, you guys got to remember out there, like in anything, the first value, folks, to anything, there's four values, but the first one is the sentimental value. So, you know, people all say, oh, yeah, they're not valuable. Yes, they are, because I found these in circulation to me. You know, they're very valuable. It's worth way more than a dollar. This one here is really nice. This is a uh, overprinting by the BEP. Folks, I talk about, I put my loopy up. The only way that you can see any type of ink errors is any type of anything like that. You have to put the times four loop that I use in my eye to magnify that. And then what you're going to do is you guys will see you're going to you're going to put your loop on, you know, the uh, green if you're looking for green, black if you're looking for the black ink, and then you'll see the pigment like, you know, you can, you know, you can, no comparison folks. Just look at like an ink mark pen or, and then look at the so just look at a regular ink mark like say that, you know, red whatever this is or you know, yellow. This is from the uh markers, but you look at it with the loop and then look at the uh, pigment of the BP and you'll see that like, whoa, this one here is really nice. This is actually a stuck digit. This is where the eight is way up than what it's supposed to be. These are very, you know, like I said, the more dramatic the error, say that that eight was all the way hitting the C. Oh, forget it. It'll be a few hundred dollars. And I just want to show you guys, this one here is a right shift error with the serial number shifted to the right i just want to show you guys all these different examples how very very nice they are for you guys beautiful out here this one here is another beauty right here found in circulation gorgeous gorgeous right here anytime i find low serial number stars is is uh you know it's like treasure hunting you know this is what i'm looking for so beautiful beautiful uh notes right here folks you know this is you know this is united states treasury excuse me this is united states treasure this is americana right here unreal that i have in you know this great nation that i can just you know find money in circulation that's worth way more than market you know than face value only in these only in this great nation folks even the currency is more valuable people talk about how the dollar lost its value and no so on and so forth but look at it you know you have to compare it to something though you have to compare it to you know real estate something tangible you know so on and so forth you know this is not a finance class i like to stay in focus on point this is just you know have some fun here and make some money this right here is your repeater. Very, very nice to find this beauty in circulation. This is like very, very sought after. I love these folks. Anytime I find these repeaters, I'm like, wow, what a, what a great, what a great find. I want to show you guys another beauty. I apologize because this is encapsulated, so it's going to show a little glare. I have these protected cases right away. Anything that looks, you know. Look at that beauty, folks. 1207, 1207. Let me know when you guys find a repeater out there just to see how rare they are. Look how beautiful this is that I found in circulation. The old five. Gorgeous, folks, you know. I love it. It's a huge, you know, look at look at the history. Look at the art. You know, you can bring in the, the kiddos and stuff like I did, right? I snuck it in, and then I snuck in history. And who was Abraham, President Lincoln? And what did he do? And what was he famous for? And... You know, what years did he serve and who came before him and who came after him? 
It was just an amazing way how I threw the history and with the kiddos. And then what I did was, I, uh, you know, you got to give the kids a little bit of money, you know. Got to give them a little few bucks or they won't be interested. Another beauty found in circulation right here. Very, very nice. These right here, the the one, these right here, the 1963B, this is the famous bar note. He was the shortest secretary of the treasurer, you know, to ever sit. You guys read about it and read about Mr., you know, this is the famous bar note. <clears throat> these are all still available, folks, in circulation right now. Just letting you guys know that the $1 bills, folks, do not underestimate the $1 bills. They're extremely, extremely valuable. And we'll talk about like the five, like 10 different years and styles that are just worth tremendous money. Do not underestimate the $1 bill, folks. I think the $1 bills have tremendous value, sometimes even more than the other ones. Not only with the significance of the serial number, but we'll read, you know, we'll talk about the web fed notes. You know, we'll talk, I talk about the 2013B duplicate serial numbers, so on and so forth on my channel. Look at this beauty right here, folks. Another one. Look at this 1963A. I love finding these old beauties, and now look at this other one right here, folks. Look how gorgeous this one is right here. Very rare to find any small head notes, and very, very rare to find any small head note stars. Anytime I find a small head note star, it's a huge, huge score, folks. So you know, the guys know out there. Very, very nice. This one here is another beauty. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, it's a 2844, 2844. A very beautiful repeater, folks. This is in perfect, perfect condition. Makes it very valuable. And also, there's a Miss Inkin, if you can notice, on the 8. So this is a double whammy right here. This is a... Uh, this is uncirculated. Number one makes it huge, valuable. This is a repeater, 28. 44, 28, 44. Also, the second eight, if you notice, is misinked. It's in, it's smaller and larger. You see the print, and you can see clearly this is also a mistake note. So this is a double uh, beauty right there. We love that. Let me fix these up a little bit for you guys here. This right here, folks, another gorgeous note, another beauty right here. Anytime... I find any type of older note, especially the demand note, you guys should really read about the demand notes. You should read about how the United States, you know, Treasury, you know, did other bonds deposited in the in the different 1929s in the National Bank notes, you know, to combat, you know, after, you know, during the Great Depression, after how they did that. It's just an amazing story of this great nation how it just you know had it you know of course it had its own you know troubles it had world troubles you know so on and so forth after the crash of the markets you know like i said it's just an amazing story in real life events that we all learn from these demand notes folks are very very nice i started collecting these in the beginning really the non-star i was like wow this looks kind of cool and old so what i did was i kind of kept it aside folks you guys don't even want to know how many treasures that i gave up because i didn't know you know what they were i was like oh ink smears oh a pen broke oh it's worthless get rid of it and then you come to find out that it was a uh you know gorgeous ink smear another one look at this beauty that I found in circulation. I just want to just do different things with you guys out there, folks. I want to just change it up and stuff. Let me know if there's something that you guys would like to see. Is there something that, you know, we'd like to talk about? I, like I said, I can just do, you know, beyond the best for you. Another beauty right here. Star note, you know, you know, the smaller head. 
the condition is not that great but you know what to me like i said folks we talk about it's the sentimental value that matters first more than anything right look at this beauty right here the low serial number star very very nice you know you put these all in folks to see if you have a very rare run there's very rare runs folks with the you know with the dollar bill and mostly all these even the new printed money don't let it fool you you guys could have a treasure run like this one here coming up right here is a treasure run this one here is very very rare run right here folks if we haven't talked about this or you haven't seen this this is the very rare minneapolis you know minnesota note from the federal reserve bank of you'll always see the eye this one here is a very rare run right here that we're looking at this note right here i seen that this about you know in this condition is about a 250 dollar note right here i'd like for you guys to screenshot this one i'd like you guys to make a note for this i'd like you guys to pause it for a moment you know screenshot take a note write it down i don't care how you guys do it just make a note of this that this one is a very rare run right here very rare you guys will be very happy folks that from my channel a dollar fetched you 250 dollars i don't know what else i could uh you know do for you folks when i first began doing this right you guys gotta remember okay there was no social media there was no youtube <laughs> there was nothing like that for me to look there was no online there was nothing like that so you guys have a huge advantage look at this repeater the 61 61 87 87 what a beauty right here right beauty beauty right here look at this other one right here look at this other repeater gorgeous to find these in circulation folks just watch my channel folks and you guys will see the money that you'll start accumulating and building up it just adds up you know you save a dollar a day you got 365 dollars at the end of the year look at this other beauty repeater right here gorgeous gorgeous right here look at this one folks another repeater this right here coming up is a true beauty i love these right here folks the older you know any any older style notes any older style smaller head notes i'm so interested in them i love collecting them i love the history you know learn about the art look you know read about the presidents this one here is very rare to find in circulation you guys let me know if you find any smaller head you know star notes especially a low serial number out there i want to just show you how rare it is to find anything like this i want you guys you know hope you guys enjoyed the summer like i did now it's time to rock and roll and hunt these bad babies down and make a little bit of extra money out there another beautiful repeater right here this is a really nice one you know very rare and hard to find anything like this right here folks you know another beauty right here gorgeous repeater very very nice to find these and like i said you know these are all i paid face value so how could i ever lose if you guys are selling on ebay or any other social excuse me any other online auction platform i don't want you guys to offer free shipping and anything remember free doesn't exist so you know do like i do all these i i add like 5.95 you know for delivery i think 5.95 is very fair you know sometimes you might make a buck out of it or plus some you know that's about you know something like that so maybe a little more it all depends on the zones that they're in you guys will learn about the different zones the further it is away from where you are the more it costs a little bit to ship look at this other beauty repeater right here folks i appreciate you guys out there folks you know tune in i want to change things up on my channel i appreciate you guys out there thank you very much